Park here in Campbellville. Field of seven is set to go. And they're off. Launched from the far outside is Kissin in the sand as Jingra is pedal to the metal to try and make the lead with her. Sharknet at the inside is going to size her up and release her to the front now. Back into third went Kendall Sealster. Dropped over fourth, Caviar Ally. Fifth inside is You Are My Candy Girl. Then it's back sixth inside to find Caitlin. And the back of the bus belongs to Betters Up. They're into the opening turn here. Sharknet with a pocket pop already for Teachrick now on the attack. Coming up after Kissin in the sand is strong in the face as Jingra tries to release Teachrick now and clears. To the front is Sharton, a 25 and 4. Opening panel lights it up. Pumped up in the pocket spot is Kissing in the Sand as she is right up in the rigging there for Jingra. Up to 3 8 Back in third is Kendall Sealster, Caviar Ally from in fourth. Tracking fifth is You Are My Candy Girl. And the sixth one in as they motor to the midway point is Caitlin. Trailing still is Betters Up. You Are My Candy Girl starts to wet. She'll try and fish out Caviar Ally. Half in 55 flat. Second panel 29 and 1. They're into the final turn now. And Sharton, the one to catch. She's got the racetrack for teacher going into the final turn. Second to the rail is Kissing in the Sand. Caviar allies outside rolling third now. On her cover fourth is You Are My Candy Girl. Back into fifth is Kendall Sealster. Then it's Caitlin. And two more back to trailer betters up. They're on their way to three quarters and it's Sharpen at the inside and alongside comes Caviar Ally. They'll go toe to toe to three quarters in 122 and three. 27 and three speed there. Sharpen coming into the stretch. Caviar Ally sinks her Claws into her now, and it's Caviar Alley on the outside putting that white blaze of hers up in front. Sharton fights on at the rail, but it's Caviar Alley in deep stretch now, shaking loose for McCarthy. And it is deja vu as McCarthy kicks off Breeders' Crown Knight here with Caviar Alley. It's Caviar Alley to win by two over Sharton and the mile 149 and three. Breeders' Crown, night two underway. The open mare pace goes to Caviar Ally as she is able to upend her nemesis, Sharton. And uh, this guy's back here, Andy McCarthy. You got your night started off well last night. You got your night started off here. How special does this win with this mare against Sharton feel? It feels great. You know, um, it's been a, a pretty good rivalry, and uh, Sharton had the better of us all year. But, you know, uh, Caviar Ally, she just seems to really love this time of year. She's always come good, like... Uh, Three, four, five. She's she just really excels in the fall, and um, you know we're uh, finally getting the better of her. You know, and I, I know her, her bread and butter a lot of times seems to be that pocket trip, but uh, she had to do it a different way tonight. First over, how incredible was that? Yeah, well, that's the thing. You know, we talked about we've tried every way to try and uh, beat Sharton, and then um, you know in Lexington there we uh, said let's try not to leave so fast, and we'll we'll, we'll come late. And uh, I've done that again tonight. I just pushed the pace a little bit, you know, and then. Um, she likes first over. She always has, so uh, she, she seems to be agreeing with it. Congratulations. Thanks, Chad. All right, Brett, uh, you're back. Thank you're you. back. 2005, last time in the Breeders' Crown. Uh, how does it feel to get your 11th win? Well, pretty awesome after last night. I was halfway across the track last night, so this time I've made it the whole way. So uh, it, it's great. It's, uh, it's an awesome event. Breeders' Crown, is, uh, it's, it's the ultimate for us in, in the game, and uh, couldn't be happier. You know, you came back out of retirement. Is it races like this that you came out of retirement for? Oh, for sure. You know, uh, you know, great horses and big events. Um, you know, you, you just you give them all the credit, but the time you spend with them, you realize they're special. And um, she's she's a, a great tough mare, and she stands up. Tomorrow she'll be, you know, looking to see what's going on for the next day, and she's just got a beautiful nature about her and uh, one tough girl. She is a great mare, and you did a great job with her. Well done. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring in the Chaffees, Judy and Buck. Uh, congratulations. Last night, Tall Dark Stranger. Now tonight, uh, you've got Caviar at Ally. But how special is this win, a a again, because of the mare that she was facing off against? Judy, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's super special. She's been after the Breeders' Crown every year, and we've never been able to do it. And finally, I mean, she's such a great mare. She has deserved it. She's raced well every single year. Every every year in the Breeders' Crown. 
but for some reason, you know, this was her year. Back-to-back runner-up finishes for her. Now she gets that victory. Buck, I'll ask you, you know, that first over trip, the way that she had to do it, the mare that she beat, is this the most impressive win in her career up to this point? I certainly think so. It, I mean, she really had to come strong that last quarter mile. And when she got, when she headed her at the top of the stretch, they, they, they hooked up. They've done that before. And every other time we've come up a little short, but this time we didn't. And it's, it's just Brett and Andy making, doing a great, great job. And just the horse just really, really working hard and, and, and showing her stuff. So yeah, super. We're happy to have you guys here. Continued success. Thank you. We love it here in Canada, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah, we are. Thank you so much. All right. Caviar Ally pulls off the upset. She upends Sharton in the open. Mare pace.